my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what's on my iPhone 2021. I've surprisingly never actually filmed one of these videos before. I have gone to film them quite a few times and then just never done it. I've just been like, meh, I don't know. But I feel like at the moment these kind of videos are quite popular and I also just got a new phone. So I'm so grateful for this. This is my Christmas present from my dad, my stepmom, my brother and my sister. So thank you so, so much for this. This is honestly crazy. I can't believe I got a new phone. Thank you so much. It is beautiful. This is the iPhone SE 2020. So it came out last year. It came out after the iPhone 11, so it's actually really relatively new, and I absolutely love it. The phone itself is white, and it has a mirrored silver Apple logo, and then the sides of the phone are silver. I have got a clear case on it right now, but the case is also so gorgeous. It is sparkly. It's just literally covered in tiny silver sparkles, and when I saw that they got me this case as well, I was like, OMG. That is so beautiful. I'm so excited about this, and it just matches the white so well, and I just, oh, I love this so much but without further ado let's actually have a look at what is on my iphone all right so i've just moved over to the side of the screen so you can see over here a bit bigger what my actual phone looks like inside so my lock screen my lock screen is a mood board now this is like a manifestation mood board it's just a good vibes mood board you know what i mean so i went on pinterest and i had a look at some neutral colored pictures added them to a mood board like pin board thing on pinterest and then just screenshotted them all cropped them and then i used pixart to make a collage with all of these and i absolutely loved it i also used pixart to edit in the 133,000 subscribers under sparkle rewind moving in to the phone my home screen omg i'm in love with this home screen i've just got to say it it is so pretty i just i love it so much i actually took so long at making this home screen let me just say it took me hours and hours and hours so you can't really make things like this in like five minutes it does take hours to do unless you're a pro of course i used the app brass and aesthetic you can just see it on the screen right now this one here they're the ones i use to make the app logos we've got all of my apps that i use the most on this main screen so i've got photos pinterest snapchat whatsapp i do use those quite a lot although snapchat i don't use that much and i have a private account then we have instagram app store youtube and messages i feel like they're my most used apps realistically and then we've got settings notes and mail and phone again used quite a lot i use my notes all the time then we've got safari at the bottom whatsapp again i just realized i have two whatsapps i've never realized that before then i have calculator and i also use that quite a lot weirdly then at the top left hand corner i have the date which says saturday 16th so i did this one on widget smith and in fact i did all of these little quote boxes on widget smith then the next quote we have sweat now so that you can glow and celebrate later and i thought it was really cool just to motivate me to be more productive and get things done and then we've got like a pale nude color that says never change who you are just so people will like you now i think this is something i have to remind myself of because not that i change my personality much but sometimes if i'm around people you know when you just feel that influence and i don't want to give in to that influence of other people where unless it's a good influence unless they're really given being a good influence but i don't want to try and be somebody else who i'm not just because i'm around people do you know what i mean and that is just not what i want to do so i like that quote i thought it was really good and that is pretty much everything on this screen honestly don't really have much to say about this front screen but swiping over to the right we have got all of the apps here now well most of them anyway some of them are in my app library which i'll talk about in a sec but here we've got photos here so we've got photos camera google photos now google photos i find is amazing so what i use google photos for is basically back up all my photos i kind of use it instead of icloud although i do have icloud you don't get much storage with icloud you have to pay if like you want more and i always use up all my storage my icloud is full right now so i can't really use that so i use google photos it backs up all your photos and videos and everything and then i can delete them from my actual camera roll but they can always be in google photos if i need them then here we've got teams and files files i sometimes need for my singing lessons if i've got music in there teams i use for school at the minute that is what my school is using to do our online courses and classes and whatnot so i use that a lot at the moment and i've got that in business then we've got extras these are kind of the main apps so we've got voice memos compass measure calculator maps settings app store weather facetime i use facetime all the time asos whatsapp santander nhs covid app 
Spotify, free prints, messages, phone and Safari. And I use Spotify quite a lot at the minute because I used to have an Apple Music account and I cannot remember the login at all. So I just don't use that anymore. And then free prints I use most months. So you get 45 free prints a month, which is honestly insane and I love free prints because I get loads of photos printed off because I like to have physical copies as well as on my phone because if I ever clear out my phone which I sometimes do and then regret deleting a photo I've actually got it in real life than if I need it so I love free prints then in planning we've got notes calendar clock mail and time block now I only downloaded time block like two days ago I really haven't done much on it but basically what you can do is you can add in events at all different times now I like to split my days into hours. I don't do this all the time, but sometimes I like to split all different events into hours, which is what this is great for. It's basically just time blocks. So then in random, we've got color widgets, translate, shortcuts, and widget smith. I don't think I've ever used translate, but I will probably need it in the future if I go traveling again. And then we've got shortcuts, widget smith, and color widgets are what I use for doing these little quotes, obviously. So I don't actually think I've got any colour widgets on my screen right now, however I did use them in the past and that is quite cool because you can do all different dates and times and different sizes and patterns and everything so it's pretty cool. And then shortcuts, you do need shortcuts to do the app logos and stuff so I do use shortcuts quite a lot, again I'm not going to go into detail how you do it but you can use um, shortcuts to change your app logos. Then in socials we've got WhatsApp, Pinterest, Snapchat and Instagram. Pinterest I use all the time um, however I don't really have like a Spark Rewind account on there so I can't really tell you guys what the account is because I just kind of use it for my personal stuff if you know what I mean. However if you do want me to make a public sort of Pinterest account then do let me know and I can probably do that because I feel like that'd be quite cool. Then Snapchat, like I said, use a fair amount, but it's kind of like a private account. And then Instagram, if we head on to Instagram here, this is my Instagram, so it's just at Sparkle Rewind. If you do want to check out my account, please do, and follow me on there, that would be lovely. And I've been uploading quite a lot recently. Then, going into this next folder, we've got Wallet, Health, and Find My iPhone rarely use any of these apps that's why it's in an unused folder i do sometimes use health app to track my periods but apart from that i don't really use it then editing i feel like this is one of the busiest folders other than extras and in here we've got youtube studio youtube imovie pixar fonto subcounts camera connect lightroom ash video leap and youtube tracker so i'm just gonna briefly evaluate on what most of these apps are so youtube studio i use to see my analytics i have a look at my watch time on there everything like that i use youtube studio for now i use youtube studio on a daily to check out my analytics and my number of subscribers and everything like that i check it on there because YouTube itself is not as up to date. Going back to what else we've got on here, YouTube of course for watching YouTube and to also upload videos. iMovie I used to edit my videos on, I use it on my phone, I used to edit on my iPad sometimes but now I've got more storage on this phone. I've now got 64 gigabytes. I used to have 32 gigabytes on my old phone and so I couldn't edit as much on my phone whereas now I can edit all my videos on here which is absolutely amazing. Then I've got Pixar. Now I I use Pixar all the time to make my thumbnails. I make my thumbnails on Pixar and I also do little collages and you can just do so many cool things on Pixar. I absolutely love it. Then on Fonto, I also use this for my thumbnails as well. So what I usually do is I go onto Fonto and I upload a picture and then I do the text. You know how on my thumbnails I have the text that goes curved at the top and then straight text along the bottom? Well, I do that on Fonto and then I go onto Pixar and add any like little stickers or anything that I need to add on on there. Subcounts is where it tells me the number of subscribers I've got. Now, this used to tell me the exact number. However, it tells me what is on YouTube, if that makes sense. So yeah, I don't really use this sub count as much. I used to use it all the time, but now I don't really use it because it's not very accurate. Whereas I use YouTube Studio now to tell me how many subscribers I've got. Camera Connect is for my Canon G7X that I'm filming on right now. And I basically use that to transfer through Wi-Fi and like Bluetooth. I transfer my videos from my camera to my phone on the app. So it's super simple, don't need the cable or anything like that. It's really great. Lightroom, I used to use, I went through a phase like about a month or two ago where I was uploading my Instagram photos with a filter. It was Gemma Louise Miles filter and I loved it. And I thought I'm gonna upload all my photos with the filter on. And now I'm thinking, as much as I love the filter, 
I don't want to do that anymore. I want to just upload real photos myself, very limited editing on it, rarely use filters on my photos. I just want it to be pure me. I just want you to see who I am. So these last few photos I've uploaded haven't had filters on or haven't been edited or anything like that. So I'm going to do that more and I'm not going to use the Lightroom as much. Ash. Now this app's pretty cool. I basically use this for my Instagram stories sometimes. So if I want to say, oh, I've got a new video out or something, you see this uh, template here, I can use this and then insert my thumbnail into this and then upload it onto my story and it looks really cool and you can edit the text and everything. So that's a really cool app if you want to make your Instagram stories look really snazzy. And then we've got Video Leap. So I only downloaded this relatively recently, but Again, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I will honestly be here forever, but I basically, in my videos, you may have noticed, in this video, for example, I would have had it, at the start, I have a coloured background, and then it says, for example, what's on my iPhone 2021, and then it looks like a typing effect, so the writing gradually comes on. Well, the way I do that is, on Pixar, I type in the text. I will then go on the pen colour over the text whilst recording, there's like a record button on Pixar, record myself scribbling out the text letter by letter backwards and then I go on video leap and I put it into video leap, reverse it and then speed it up. So that's what I use video leap for. Then YouTube tracker, on here we've got the monetization tracking system sort of thing. So it tells me how many subscribers I've got and how many you need to get monetized, which is a thousand subscribers. And then you need 4,000 watch hours to get monetized. Now, as you can see on here, it says I've got 3,989. The thing is, that is not even correct. First of all, that's not correct according to YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio is telling me I've got over 4,000. I've got 4,015 watch hours, I think. And YouTube on my laptop is a bit slower at updating. And that is telling me that I've got 3,997. On here it's telling me I've got 3,989, which I know is incorrect. I don't really use this app that much. However, there is a really cool bit when you click on this bit at the top and it basically tells you how far you are to your goals. So as you can see, I'm 100% of the way to 1,000. I'm 10% of the way to 10,000. Like what? That's crazy. It's basically just telling you how far you are. And I find that so exciting because, you know, seeing that I'm 10% of the way to 10,000 is like, what? It's honestly crazy. I like this app for that purpose, but other than that, I'm not a big fan of that app. And they are all of the apps I have on my phone, I'm pretty sure. Although if you swipe to the right, I can see all of the apps that I own. But that is pretty much it. I'm just going to quickly add about phone cases. So I don't actually know where this one on my phone is actually from. So unfortunately I can't link this down below. But I'll see if I can find one that's really, really similar and link it for you. I've bought my favourite phone cases here to show you so that you can possibly have a look at some of these. First one, we have this Mean Girls case. Now, many of you know I'm absolutely obsessed with Mean Girls. So this is Baby Pink. It's gone a little bit faded. It's gone a bit orangey. But it was Baby Pink. And then we've got red sparky lettering that says... That's so fetch. And I'm just obsessed with this case. And this is from Skinny Dip. This Olaf case here is from Primark. Now, I did get this over a year ago, so I'm not 100% sure if you can buy this. But I always put this on my phone at Christmas time. And it has snowflakes, holographic snowflakes, moving around in it. And then it's got Olaf, like, reading, just jumping up and down. And, like, just really cool. And then this phone case here is from AliExpress. Now, me and Megan have this matching phone case. So she has the other half. So this is me singing with a hairbrush in my pyjamas, like me and Megan at a sleepover. Absolutely love these. And I'll link all these phone cases that I can down below. And that is it for today's video. I really, really hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed seeing what's on my iPhone, seeing my phone cases. And please let me know if you want to see any videos about how I did my lock screen, how I did my home screen with the apps and everything, how I edit my videos, how I edit my thumbnails, any videos like that, please comment down below and let me know because I will 100% do them. So thank Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Lots of love, Sparkle Rewind. Bye!